The small dinghy took us out to the high-rise bridge where VDOT had a barge. Perched on the crane that was going to be used to rescue four peregrine falcon chicks sat one of the chicks. Research biologist Sean Paget with the College of William and Mary slowly made a move to recover the juvenile and the bird took off. Only 41 days old, the falcon was not quite ready to fly, so he eventually ended up in the water. That is the problem with all the falcon nests around Hampton Roads that are on bridges. The new birds are always in danger of drowning. The reason we're here today, Joe, is we're trying to save these chicks from what you just saw, which is going in the water and drowning. We got here, the bird was on this barge. If this barge wouldn't have been here, that bird would have already been in the water. Next, Sean went up in the bucket to rescue another chick perched high atop the bridge. Mom Falcon was making herself known by screaming at the intruders. Peregrine falcons are off limits. Uh, you can't touch them. If you were to find one floating in the water, your best bet is to rescue it first and then uh, call the game department. The second juvenile flew over to scaffolding and Sean said he'd have to come back Friday to try to rescue it. He was able to tag and recover the one falcon. <laughs> Dr. William Bird of the College of William and Mary will take the juvenile out to the Shenandoah Valley tomorrow and release it into the wild. Joe Flanagan, 13 News, Chesapeake.